God has made known to us the mystery of His will to bring together all things in Christ, all things in heaven and on earth in Him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you, excuse me, wrong day, O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right, and by your grace and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God that is at Corinth, with all the holy ones throughout Achaia, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all encouragement, who encourages us in our every affliction so that we may be able to encourage those who are in any affliction with the encouragement with which we ourselves are encouraged by God. For as Christ's sufferings overflow to us, so through Christ does our encouragement also overflow. If we are afflicted, it is for your encouragement and salvation If we are encouraged, it is for your encouragement, which enables you to endure the same sufferings that we suffer. Our hope for you is firm, for we know that as you share in the sufferings, you also share in the encouragement. The word of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. Alleluia, Alleluia, 
Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. In every affliction, the Lord can bring about goodness. In every suffering, the Lord can bring about joy. It's kind of a, an interesting paradox of our faith that when we, we find ourselves burdened the most is the moment that the Lord is the most with us. That the Lord is there to, to pick us up, to support us. And not only to support us, but to encourage us. And first reading today, the God of, of all encouragement, the Father of compassion. And if we, if we ever doubt that, well, it's right in the Scriptures, so we can just go right back to it. But more so, even in that affliction, even in that, that sorrow, even in that, that moment of burden, I think we're tempted sometimes to say, where's God in this? And we always have to take a step back, I think, in those moments and say, God's right with me. Where am I in this with God? Sometimes in those moments of affliction, and it's a part of who we are as human beings, we we kind of settle into our own world. We put the blinders on. We turn off our, our hearing aids. And we just sit there with ourselves and, and go, Oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Which is the wrong question. It's more so, what is God going to do to help me? And I, I heard a story, once, well, beautiful story, uh, a priest friend of mine, his, his aunt, was going into to surgery and she wasn't fully present. And, and so as they're wheeling her from her hospital room to the, the surgical center, that she was mumbling words that no one understood. And it took her, her sister coming in and, and listening. She, she's mumbling her prayers in our native dialect. They're prayers that we probably haven't prayed in that dialect since we were three years old before we had immigrated. We went right back to the very root of that faith. Those early moments, you know? And we we find ourselves sometimes in that moment. 
I don't know what else to do, Lord, but to pray in our Father a Hail Mary and a Glory Be over and over and over again. And yet in that we find the greatest comfort. And yet in that we are still lifting up and doing exactly what the Lord asks us to do, to depend completely upon Him. Blessed are the poor in spirit who, who put their trust solely in the Lord and in nothing else. Blessed are, are we when we are persecuted for the sake of righteousness because we know that the kingdom of God will come to be ours. And blessed are we when we are insulted and persecuted for the sake of our faith and for the sake of the name of Jesus Christ which seals us. And that affliction, we have been given a great promise And it's not something new to us. It's not something singular to us. We all experience it as Christians. We all experience it as Catholics. And those who are our brothers and sisters in faith and those of the ancient faith, the chosen people of God, have experienced it as well. And so, what can we do? We look and say, Lord, I am tasting and seeing your goodness, and I will bless the Lord at all times. So my brothers and sisters, let us stand now and, and lift our voices in blessing to our God and ask for those things which we need from Him. We pray for an increase in religious vocations. May the Lord bless with open hearts those who are discerning priesthood or consecrated life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a special way for all the seminarians of our diocese as they begin their summer assignments. Pray in particular for Andy Erdman, our seminarian from our parish. And we pray for for those men of the diocese who are uh, preparing to, to make that entrance into seminary this fall. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for world leaders. May the Holy Spirit inspire them in working to uphold the dignity of the oppressed and afflicted. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer from chronic illness, may God comfort them in their difficulties and ease their burdens. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who struggle to to find work, and struggle to support themselves and their families. May they find those things which they need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a special way for our school students as they come to the the end of their school year and begin their summer breaks, that they may be safe, but also use the knowledge that they have received well. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, may the Lord look graciously upon us, bless us, and protect us from all evil. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died marked with the sign of faith, may they be crowned with the glory of everlasting life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a special way this morning at this Mass. For Peter Kelly Whitehouse, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now offer those prayers and intentions which we hold in the silence of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we also offer up a prayer for the speedy recovery of Pope Francis and for his return to his normal duties. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, hear and answer the prayers we offer to you this day. And we ask them as we ask all things through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of eternal life. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom he raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels we praise you, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter, but only say the word of my soul. God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God in him.
Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And we pray our prayer for renewal. In every age, O oh God, you have called us to be your people, to be your church. In this time, we begin anew to discern the pathways that will lead us to our people closer to you. Continually bless our journey as we proclaim your good news. Celebrate your saving presence among us. Serve others with charity and justice and steward the world who have entrusted to our care. Send your spirit to lead and guide our Emmaus journey as we commit ourselves to the renewal of our church. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen.